Good afternoon guys and welcome back to another video here in the beautiful city at nighttime of Istanbul. I'm here with the boys. How are we doing? Mahat and Saud. Here we go. Yeah. I've been finishing all the Mac desserts, man. Like, it's rough, man. Oh, I've been exposed. Yeah, he's got to put me on the payroll. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm just doing all the work for him. Exactly. He's been helping me uh, finish some of the desserts, but uh, for good reason. As you guys have seen in all the videos so far in Istanbul, we've been having so many treats. So, needed a little bit of help. Anyways, we're going for uh, round three. You guys have seen them the last two days in the last couple of videos. And actually, where we're at right now is we're standing at the bus stop right now. We're going to be taking a bus over to... Uh, Taksim. 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 That's literally where I'm staying, so I should remember the name. Taksim Square, it's like, I don't know, three kilometers, probably 30 cents to take the bus. And we're going to take you guys with us in the evening to try out some delicious food along the streets. Maybe we'll get another dessert. We shall see. But uh, as soon as the bus gets here, we'll show you that experience. Because obviously, I want to share with you guys all the public transportation here. So you can see how simple it is to get around Istanbul. All right, guys. This is the uh, DT2. We're going to be taking this one to uh, Taksim Square. As you can see, there's a lot of people getting on this bus right now. And uh, we just got to push our way in. He's the expert, though. Let's dig in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the nice part is you have these cards, and they work literally uh, everywhere you go. So... You can just hop on the ferry, you can hop on the tram, you can hop on whatever it is. The question is there not space travel? There is, there is. Alright, and let's see how much this is going to cost us. Oh, $7.67. So that's like uh, 50 cents. That's actually more expensive than the uh, ferry cost us. And we'll be cruising, uh, I don't know how many stops. How many stops are we going, bro? Stop Oh. Oh, is it stop back there? Yeah. Does it matter? Did it not work? Yeah, I don't think so. Did it not work? No, I don't think it was. Short it, funds. It popped up in green. Um, um, so the nice part is you can actually, uh, if you need, you can swipe this for multiple people. So it's a private card and you just load as much money as you want. How many stops are we going to be taking? That's like, uh, I think five. Five, five stops. stops. Yeah. All right. So it's what, like a 10, 15 minute drive? Depends on the traffic. Ah, all right. Yeah. There we go. That's a good answer. That's how you know he's a local these days. Yeah, and it's a pretty packed bus even at this time. So I can imagine like in the middle of the day during the workday, this thing is probably packed to the brim. So yeah, nice little nighttime cruise. And then uh, once we get to Taksim Square, we're going to be taking you in for some delicious food here. I'm ready. All right, I think we're making some pretty good progress here. Or maybe we're uh, going back the way we came. We're cutting a U-turn, but we're getting some of that Istanbul traffic here, as you can see. The U-turns always scare me. Yeah. Right, well, we're gonna roll? Yeah, Whoa. I feel like I'm going the wrong direction, you know? Yeah, yeah. But I have faith in this guy, so exactly. hopefully he gets us back Yeah, he's, he's a local here, so he's gonna get us there. Yeah. But I can tell you guys, you need to hold on to these things. If you're trying to uh, surf on the bus, you won't be able to stand on your own. I've literally been like hanging on and like swinging from left to right. Yeah. All right, guys, we are arriving to Taksim here. Look at that mosque. That is incredibly beautiful when it's lit up like that. Wow. Whoa, holy First time crap. Seeing it. Sorry. All right, here we go. This is us? Yeah, that's it. Let's do this. Taksim Square, it's been a while. Oh, it's a completely different experience being here at nighttime. We lost you, boys? Like, we have to go to the other side. Yeah. Welcome, welcome back to Taksim. Honestly, I could. My face is literally burning, guys. You're probably noticing my face is really red today because I did the uh, hammam bath and they scraped basically all of the dead skin off me. And so someone actually replied to my Instagram story saying, be careful, like being in the sun after doing the hammam. Oh, we're about to get ran over. Uh, because like obviously you take that top layer of skin off that's one le less level of protection but I didn't realize that until after and now I am fried anyways more importantly though we are walking into Taksim Square it is a completely different experience being here now than when I was here like during the day like it's lit up it's beautiful I mean it was beautiful during the day too but like the way everything looks right now is majestic welcome to Taksim so guys we're uh, walking this way a little closer view of the mosque now that is so pretty and uh, right down here is where we have all the food options. What are you guys thinking for food? I say let's go for Turkish food. Turkish food, that is a must. There's Burger King, is that Turkish? For me, yeah. I always <laughs> go to Burger King all over the Oh, uh, really? You're a big yeah. Burger King fan, yeah? When you can dine in with the king, why to go with the Joker? <laughs> exactly, I like that, I like that. Well, guys, we're not doing Burger King tonight. We're going to see what we've got going on. Let me tell you this. There are massive, massive, massive kebab meat rotators. I don't know the official name for them, but I can smell them. I'll tell you that. All right. 
Now I'm getting the hype for Taksim Square at night. I mean, look at this place. There are thousands of people everywhere getting some chow here tonight. I don't even know where to start out in terms of uh, food, but I guess we're just going to do a cruise down this way, and I guess we'll decide what's going to pull us in for a delicious snack this evening. Or not snack, but full-on dinner. Yep. No more what are you hungry for? Today. Yeah, Meat. no more dessert. Meat. Yeah, yeah, That's exactly. Right. It's going to be kebab time. It's going to yes, be, sir. I don't know, some sort of like Turkish pizza. Yes, it could sir. be anything. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. Oh yeah, me too, me too. It's gonna be fantastic. Oh, we got live music. Uh, oh, do we? As he was saying, you know, in Taxi. Like, yeah, yeah. Taxi live music right there. Yeah, serious vibes right now. And like the building itself is like 200 years old. For Hafiz Mu Mustafa, this is the uh, 1864. So it's been a while, been around for quite a while. Old place, old. And that's where you get the best Turkish delights. Best, ba best baklavas. Yup, and uh, they have chocolate kanife. Oh. Diabetes, but you know. That, yeah, geez, that is very tempting, let me tell you that. This is just insane, look at this. We have this massive crowd of people and somehow a van is able to drive through here. That is uh, quite impressive. Oh, guys, we've got some delicious food options right here. McDanklin's. Let's go. This is this is actually from Turkey. That, that's right? Turkish, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up, brother? How we baby, doing? My oh, baby, Kifak. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Whoa. That guy's looking for something with that phone. Oh, we got the Lupe Club. This, I guess, this is the club area, club district. Because there was another guy. I wasn't filming. He came up to me. He's like, nightclub, nightclub, bro. I was like, probably not gonna go with you if you're uh, basically whispering nightclub to me. Sounds a little dicey. So it looks like Esmer Cafe Restaurant. We've got 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, can he get us outside though? I think it just depends on what opens up. I think. Yeah. Well, we, we need a spot uh, ideally outside. For lighting, right? Yeah, just for the, ah, for the vibe. Yeah, yeah, for the vibe. Inside, it's just, uh, it's not the same, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling this nighttime weather right now. Exactly. You know, look at that, guys, right here. Only in Istanbul. Let's go. <laughs> We're in, yeah? Perfect. Oh, I think that means one minute. All right, there we go. That is that is how they hook it up. We got the, uh, the VIP service right here. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, yes. Oh. Great work, gentlemen. We've got ourselves a spot here at the uh, cafe and we're on the street. So everyone's wishes are coming true right now. Got the vibes, good weather. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Fresh air. Yeah, I mean, look at this place. Like, if you just look up, we've got all these hanging uh, festive lights. All right, guys, we've got the uh, Esmer uh, menu here and it looks like we got quite a few options. We've got pastas. We've got pizzas. We've got some sort of like seafood medley pasta Maybe that's a little bit of lamb there coffees. Oh, yeah. All right And let's see do we have any Turkish food in here? That's gonna be the real question yep. Oh, we pop that thing right open. Oh, oh wow. Oh, yeah, you can just wow any way you want to do it Oh, I found a way it doesn't open but like this all right pop that like that and then we shall take a look over here. A chicken panzerotti. That sounds wild. Chicken wrap. What do you recommend here for uh, Turkish food? Actually, I cannot see any Turkish food. Yeah, let you know what's ready. Oh. They are continental. But it looks fire. I do have to say. Looks really good. I yeah. saw someone having pizza and it looked amazing. Yeah, yeah, fair point. Yeah. All right, well, guys, tonight might be a pizza vlog. You want to know? I'm not hating on it because I love pizza and I need to have pizza in every single country that I go to just to get a taste for it, you know? A lot of you guys ask me where do I have my best pizza? Actually, not that many, but once in a while I get that question and I got to be able to answer it. Uh, Arif, how are we doing? Good? Fine. Oh, very good. Yeah, thank you very much. I've uh, never been better now that we're about to eat. Uh, what do you recommend? All the rock, man. All very, famous. All very famous. All very famous. All very famous. Oh, yeah? Yeah, pasta. Oh, pasta, yeah. All right. Standard pasta with chicken, mushroom, white sauce. This one is very good. All right. And what did these guys get? I'm going to go for pepperoni. I pepperoni? Got grilled chicken. All right, all right. Then, uh, should we get the uh, the kebab pizza? Is that a good one? Skander kebab pizza. So it's pizza. Is that a good mix-in? 
I mean, like, it's like, you know, pizza, Give it a shot. Turkish, kebab, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, yeah, exactly. Then, Give it a shot. Then we can get away with it, you know, not having exact Turkish food then, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, all right, there we go. Well, yeah, I'll do uh, one Iskender kebab pizza, please. Ooh, yeah, that's going to be delicious. All right, I think that's everything. Yeah. For pepperoni, yeah. Yeah. And then I'll get the grilled chicken. What should I take? I'll go for both. Uh, it's still water, please. Yeah, for me, water as well. Actually, no, no drink for me. I want my water bottle. Cola, water, water. Actually, yeah, maybe I'm gonna, maybe I'm gonna get a little something, something. Uh, can I have a uh, kiwi or actually a strawberry smoothie? We don't have a kiwi smoothie. Oh, we have just kiwi. We don't have. Oh, uh, okay. Then let me. Uh, mm, all right, then I'll take a pomegranate juice, please. You? I'm good. I'll just go with the cola. I got my water bottle. All right, cola. Bottle. Cola, it'll do then. All right, thank, thank you so you much. So much. All right, I would say uh, this is going to be a delicious meal. <laughs> Holy moly, we, we've got a little. We've got our man coming in here with a clarinet. <laughs> there we go. This is uh, only in Istanbul. You can get the live music right here. There we go, hitting the high notes. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this is what we came for. Thank you, brother. You're a very good uh, clarinet player. Thank you so much. Teshuko. Yeah, there we go. All right. See, guys, I was about to literally grab this uh, pomegranate juice, and then we had a street performance pop up out of nowhere. That is why I love Istanbul, because you never know what's about to happen. So on that note, let's try out the pomegranate juice. Wow, that was tasty. Yum. Wait, did you just... <laughs> oh my god. I turned my head and no, I turned no, my head and Can you imagine? I'm Someone just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. I can tell you guys, when you get a blast of pomegranate juice in your system like that, it like wakes you up, revitalizes you. I'm ready to get some za. Guys, look at that. The food has arrived. That is a kebab pizza. And what is this white sauce? Mozzarella. I think. Ma oh, that's mozzarella. No. That's oh, yogurt. it's sauce. That's, that's sauce. Ah, it's yogurt. Oh, okay. oh yogurt. Wow. All right. So that's going to be quite the meal. What do you have over there? That's the chicken? Yeah. And like this suspicious item. Oh, the suspicious item. And over there, we got a little pepperoni za with what? Jalapenos? I think it's jalapeno, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we are going to be feasting. Let's dig in. Uh, here we go, guys. The uh, first bite of the kebab pizza. Wow, that is fantastic. Oh my god, it, it literally does kind of taste like a kebab. We have that mix of pizza in there. It's a really unique one. Mm. It seems like there's more of a very light sauce on there. That's a bit more oily. And it's ultra, ultra thin crust. But very delicious. Wow. He's eating it the proper way. Fork and knife for the pizza. Man, that is so proper of you. Mm -mm -mm. As we say, sock ten, bro. How's that chicken? Sock ten. Looks like you're working hard to get through there. I am working hard, but the taste is good. So it's yeah, the taste is good. All right, yeah. all right. Well, you guys got to you got to try this. I haven't tried the yogurt sauce yet. Oh, yeah, dip it, dip it. Man. Dip it. All right, we'll do a little dip ski. I don't know what sauce that is. I don't know. Is that yogurt? It's got a nice flavor to it. Mm. As long as it's tasty, right? Oh yeah, that's all that matters, guys. Mm -mm. Mm. Let's get the reactions. Grab yourself a nice delish slice, bro. Oh yeah, get ready to have your taste buds thanking you for the next week. You know I'm about to fold it. Oh, there we go, burrito oh, style. style. That's oh, how it's done. Sock then. Oh yeah, that's a proper bite right there. That's gonna take him about 30 seconds to reply and give his response. I know those types of bites. When you take such a big bite and then you're like, wait a second, I still gotta talk about how this tastes. And then like, I'm still chewing, I'm still chewing. <laughs> Damn, that's good, man. Yeah, that is good, isn't it? Wow, the yogurt. Yeah, that nice. is yeah. That, that is real good. 
Let's go, bro. You're up. You're up. It's time. You gotta try this thing out. Where's the smallest one? Oh no, you get yourself a big one. Make it count. I'm not a big meat fan. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Can't argue with that. And he's going in. The kebab pizza has entered. And oh, he's analyzing those flavors. He's like, I'm not a big meat fan, but I'll give that a eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Wow. Yeah. All right. That's very good. Very good. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. That's how it goes. Yeah, that, that's how it goes. Mm -mm -mm. So guys, now we're gonna toss, we got a little piece of Mahad's chicken here. We're gonna toss that thing right on there and we're gonna see if we can pick it up. And, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby. Mm -hmm. What's the verdict? Wow, that chicken makes you work for it. A tough piece of chicken, a good piece of chicken. Definitely gives another taste to it. Yeah, yeah, it adds to the flavors, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it blends in very well. Very, very well. Yeah, here we go. Mm, mm, mm. Such a unique flavor for a pizza. Like, honestly, yeah, when the, uh, when the yogurt, like, adds into the pizza, like, infuses into it, it literally tastes like you're eating, uh, a kebab. Way more like a kebab than a pizza. That's what I'd relate it to. So it fits the name. Let's put it that way. All right. So next on the menu, we're going to be trying out the uh, spicy pepperoni pizza here. Oh, that one's quite nice. The pepper. And is it salami or pepperoni? Like a beef pepperoni? I think, yeah. Yeah, oh, that is very nice. That goes down smooth. Mm -mm -mm. I like that. I'm not even sure. I was trying to think which one I like better. They both have like a very unique flavor to them. The perfect pizza would be half kebab, half pepperoni pizza. Maybe toss a little bit of the chicken on there and then you got the ultimate delish entree. So guys, for an entire meal, three people to eat, that's only three forty-eight. So that comes out to like, $25? 22. 22. 22 US dollars. Yeah, that's incredible. 22 US dollars, guys, to have three entrees. Got a couple beverages in there as well. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling content. The meal was so good. What'd you guys think of the meal? Really good, like, I'm full. Yeah, you're full? Yeah. Dessert? No chance. All right, all no right. Chance. And you? It hit, the it hit the spot, man. I'm full. Yeah. Ready to get some sleep. There we go. I'm on the same page, guys. So that's where we're going to go ahead and end this video. Really hope you guys had enjoyed coming with us for a little bus ride and then cruising through Taksim Square and having a delicious meal. So if you have, make sure you guys hit that like button. If you want to see more videos both here in Turkey as well as all around the world, hit that subscribe button. You'll see me and the boys in tomorrow's video. Yeah? Yes, sir. Catch you tomorrow.